What is going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day. Once again, I'm back on Logic Pro and doing an entire video in fact, so you should be pretty well chuffed with that. I mean, you saw the title, I'm gonna obviously have a go at playing the guitar. However, before we do that, I'm just gonna jump straight in because I'm not gonna faff about. And we're gonna make the track. So I'll show you what I've got here. I have already made the track, I will admit, but now I'm just doing a, a, a cheeky breakdown, a cheeky breakdown of the track. So I've got the drums. Oh, cool. It's quite interesting here because I've got um, um, what's it called gated, gated reverb, reverb gate, so that opens and closes. And then I've actually sampled the load. I've spread the kick into each ear, so you might not hear all that unless you're on uh, headphones. If you're just watching it on your phone, then bad luck. However, if you are watching on headphones, I don't know if you can hear that, but I think it adds an extra element. Onto the bass. The bass is from a sample from a song. I can't quite remember which song because I made this last week. However, I've just done some simple chopping up, like literally with the mouse and chop the, the scissor tool. And I've done simple transposing, not even on the sampler, literally just dragging it down minus two, minus six, minus five. And it sounds like this. So that sounds pretty good, I thought. And we can just add some chords. Down. So it's literally just a simple D, A, and then a jazzy, I don't know, B flat, or I don't know, A sharp, technically. Whatever you call it, it depends. Uh, right, let's just call that in. And that was the wrong note. I will not bother quantizing because I'm going, I'm going rogue. I'm going rogue on the quantizing. A bit like Jay Diller. Cool, right. Solid. Right, let's go. not be quantized and it can just be looped over again actually i will i will quantize the first note because otherwise it doesn't play properly but that is the only that's the only thing i'm going to do right so now even if i do say so myself we've got quite a nice basis of the song and to be honest you could just i could i mean i have i have listened to it for hours on end because i've made it i've obviously made it before however You know, we've got to add an extra element to this and I have put some scratches on it and I have put this clav thing on it. But today, for one time only, the guitar is going to be put on it. Um, so actually, let me just show you what we're aiming for. This is, I will admit, I've obviously made the track before and this is the uh, kind of guitar we're, we're aiming for. That sort of sound, nice bluesy. So what I've done there is I've literally just put the most simple amp on it and then a bit of stereo delay and it does sound like if you actually listen to it it does sound like it's been recorded by some guy who can't play guitar in his bedroom because it has however not that many people listen to my music and I doubt many of people out of there actually care so I'm just gonna go with it here is the guitar um slight slight disclaimer I can't actually play the guitar and it's missing one of the strings and I don't have the proper mic to record it. This is that mic that that Chinese company sent sent me many years ago. Um, but I can do a few. I can do a few things. I've learned about a pen pentatonic box. But my fingers just do sort of. Well, sometimes I miscoordinate them in the thing, and it just sounds a bit stupid. I can do all the bends, you know. Anyway, yeah, I can't play it live with all my effects on it. Oh, you, you see, this is sounding weird now. 
so I won't go on that. But I have recorded the clip, so um, you will get to hear the live performance. Roll the clip. So there you go. I I think what we've proved is that I definitely can't play guitar. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what notes to play. But in fairness, you know there was it, well, there was something there, and I I I after many tries, I could have and did give it a go and come out with a sort of well, an, a, a result that I put on Spotify and will put on Spotify eventually. Um, but that's that's the thing. It just goes to show, you know. Have a go. Just, you know, because what else are you going to do? Who cares? What I find is that actually if you... Because uh, I'm not going to do a whole guitar solo because I'm not, you know, BB King or anyone. But what I can do is like a company uh, accentuate certain bits. So I've got this uh, very nice... Uh, I've got this very nice solo done by this guitar plus this clav, basically. Like da 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 da, and and it does a small bend in there. I flick the pitch over. You can't really hear it, so I put in the guitar just to accentuate it, and did a tried to do a bit of a bend, and that on its own sounds awful because you can hear me miss one of the notes. But I sort of got the bend in there, and you can sort of hear what I'm trying to do with the idea. You see what I mean? And it just helps, it just helps cut through all these scratches. You see what I mean? It just helps. Uh, one, one thing I was going to show you guys is uh, how to set up the, the demo thing. I won't press, I won't actually do it because it'll create some weird feedback in the mic. But what you have to do, very simple. All you need is your audio interface um, that I'm sure you've seen the focus right one. You either just plug it into that or I've got the mic, you could use that if you've got an acoustic guitar. You just go here, audio, select your input. So on that, for me, it's input two, but the mic's input three. Boom. Then on here, when you see it coming through, press, press I. I. And I'm and sure, I'm you, sure can, you can, yeah, you yeah, can, you can hear that. It's doubled, doubled up. up. What does, what does I, actually I actually mean? mean? Input, 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 input monitoring, monitoring buttons. Button. So play, play what you do, what in, you the do in the headphones. And the reason why that's important is not so you can hear yourself, well, quite literally hear yourself think. It's so that you can do stuff like on here, where I've put the amp, channel EQ, and a bit of uh, bit of stereo delay. Because look, when I play this, it's it's, it's now it's now, it's now it's that now note, that note. No, no. which is quite cool. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you enjoyed me being back on the videos. At well, you know, I can't really give it too much chat, but I hope you enjoy me being back on this video, and I hope you enjoy the guitar. Uh, let me know if you guys well. <laughs> Let me know if any of you guys play guitar, because maybe I can call you up and get, get you to do some proper guitar for my stuff. That'd be cool. Um, but um, yeah, anyway, once again, thanks very much for watching. This, I, I promise you, I've said it before, uh, but I was, you know, I was messing about then. 
But I promise you, this will admit this will this song and many other songs. I've got nine others, including this, will be on Spotify in a matter of months. So hang tight and uh, look forward to that. But um, yeah, all I can say after that really is um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, have a great rest of the weekend, and I'll see you in the next one.